After I moved to the West Coast is when I realized how truly impatient East Coast people are. And of course, that's not to say that there aren't patient people over on the East Coast and impatient people on the West Coast, but the difference is still pretty overwhelming. Okay, so this is a scenario that would happen to me quite often. Okay, so I'd be standing in line at a Walgreens buying my little cositas and the person at the cash register is going at an awfully slow pace. And let's just say this time around, I happen to be buying a lot of things. You know, the kind of crap that everyone buys at a Walgreens, uh, deodorant, toothpaste, vitamins, uh, a lip liner, freaking a birthday card for a prima you didn't even know you had, Pringles. And, and the cashier is going at a very slow pace and, and that ain't my fault, okay? Because I am a citizen and I have the right to buy shit. And I kid you not, there was always, always a person standing directly behind me frying eggs. And no, I don't mean that in the literal sense. Okay, so frying eggs is when someone of the little to no patient's kind makes a noise to express their frustrations via a sound that sounds a lot like frying eggs. I don't know about you, but that's not a spell that one can learn at Hogwarts. Last time I checked, didn't magically speed anything up. It just makes you look like a douche. So eventually, after years and years of dealing with the uh, frying egg phenomenon, I decided to take matters into my own hands and, and confront these people. Oh yeah, but oh, where are you going, stupid man? Doesn't look like you can do that much crime fighting in those chancletas. I'm just saying. What, what, what is that? My doll and toe clippers? I don't have to walk on so what are you gonna do? Disarm a bomb? Where the hell? Where is the Where's? Where's everyone going? Everything's going so fast and, and, and calmate. Stop and breathe. Just inhale the fresh croquetas that the people next door are making because there's usually a bakery somewhere. And just inhale. If I want to hear egg frying, it better be at a Denny's. And, I, and I've actually said stuff like this to people with no shame, porque ya no puedo. And I, I sometimes have a chihuahua complex because I'm a tiny person. And sometimes I'm like, yo, Jenny, you're going to get your ass kicked. But to my surprise, every time that I've confronted people this way, it was always met with just like a blank, stern slash confused stare because I don't think they were expecting that kind of reaction from anyone. A lot of times people don't call each other out on their shit and I understand that, you know, you don't want fights for no reason, but sometimes you gotta remind people to chill, you know what I mean? With all due respect. And I'm like, y'all just calm down. We're at a Walgreens. There's no apocalypse going on outside. Everything's calm. There's a pigeon eating a french fry outside. I hear reggaeton being played in the corner. It's fine. If you were in a dire situation, you wouldn't be at a Walgreens buying hand cream and toenail clippers. And this is in person stuff, you know? But then you go to the road. Look, I love my city a lot. It is apparent in all the content that I produce. But y'all know we win worst road rage every year for a reason. It's the same thing, it's that impatience thing. But that, I'm at a light, turn left, waiting on the green arrow. If for a second, if a little mocha lands on my nose, distracts me for a microsecond, and I swat it, and in that moment, in that swatting moment, the light turns green and I don't hit the gas right at that second, you better believe there's a nine out of 10 chance that Fulano de Tal is going to honk like he's never honked before. You can control how much attitude you want to portray through the action. There's a light tap to let the person know politely that it's their turn to go. And then there's- oh, you yeah. I'm just sweating thinking about it. It's bad, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a little rough uh, creating content more frequently, but I'm going to be back on the ball with releasing content weekly on this channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, in the little description box below, you will find all the links to my social media sites, as well as all the links to We Are Me Too, which is where you can find all of my Latino content, including Latino-specific vlogs that are very reminiscent to Spanglish con Yeni, which is a vlog that I had over at Pero Like. So I'm super excited and they're coming out very soon. So be sure to stay etoned. Ay, tengo un calor, I'm so hot.